It's the middle of the week. This is car content for today. On the Bugatti, I've been playing on it, you know, every day mostly. Um, we got the engines moved into the into the paint room. We got them pulled in there. Got them out of the way. Very happy with the engine. Did a great job, Doug. Appreciate it. Uh, but right now, I'm back onto the car. And, and when I come in in the, in the morning and take a look at it, it's very satisfying for me and my brain to step back and take a look at it when it's all together. I've done it other times, but now it's, it's getting a little closer. I can feel the rev of the engine. I know it's right over there, and I know it's going right in there. And it's making me feel like it's going to be a real car, you know, from my thought process of trying to gain a woman's heart from thought to almost being there and being put together with a live engine and, and making a real car like I said I was going to. Um, it's a proud moment for me today. It's not done yet, but it's just a proud moment for me and myself because I look at it and I have made something from thought and now it's reality. And it gives me goosebumps that, I'm, that I've done that and it, I hope that people, when they do their cars, they get the exact same feeling when they're done. Don't care if it's just a paint job or if it's putting on two doors and a hood and a front fender and painting it and make it look like it used to look. Feel proud of your accomplishments. Um, them are the moments that you cherish um, because people, you know, as humans, we do not tell each other how good a job that we've done. You have to be able to tell yourself and appreciate your own self. Um, and I'm, I am just appreciating it today. Um, but the car content we're going to do today is I've got the hood. I got the hood on and I've got the hood sides stripped. I, I filled out the fender. I got a little anxious. I, I mudded it out. I flooded it. And I only flooded it as far as it needed it. Um, it's not finished, but it is flooded as far as I want to go at the present moment. It's 40 grit and that's where it's at. I have one more grit to go and then it'll go into primer. All these rivets are coming back off because they're, they're busting my knuckles up. And, and I think I would take them out of shape, sanding them with the sandpaper sometimes. But anyways, as I carry on, everything has to be welded and ground before I can fill it and finish it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Um, as a side here, I just cleaned it off a little bit. Um, I would not polish it like that, but that is getting ready for it to be mud. Um, and what I mean by mud, I'm going to mud that all out because what happened, what this is right here, this is round rod that I've cut and put in the hole. It's round rod on the other side, and I've welded all the way around the edges. I've ground it. I've smoothed it out, tried to make it smooth. I've done three on each side. Um, now it comes to the point where I'm going to put some of this stainless steel grate in it. And, and I get this up to the, the Home Depot, and uh, Lori sells it to me cheap. It's just what can I say? Stainless steel grate. I don't know what kind of grate it would be for, but it's grate of some sort. You would use it in a grinder. Also, I've welded on the front piece. Um, we couldn't do anything. There's only once in a while that me and Jolene are not together. And she went and got groceries last night, and I did not go, and I stayed and, and put a piece on the car. This piece, <laughs> it's funny that this piece that I welded in there, I did not have an idea what I was doing there until I welded it, or until I made the piece. And with the day that Greg Henderson drew the car on the wall, it's over there on the wall, um, he drew that piece underneath the grill, and I, and I took it. I went with it. Like he drew that piece, he finished it in there, and what I did is I took it. And that's how it rolls sometimes, you know. You, you do not, what you're thinking does not always matter. Sometimes what somebody else gives you an idea is what you want, you know. You just don't know until you see it. But as I've got that welded in there, still a lot more welding to do there. I've got to weld round rod all along that for my edge. And that's what I've done along the whole thing. I've welded round rod along the edge of the fenders and all on the bottom to give me the wheel lip. As I get going here, I'm gonna, let's put the side in. I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, it's nice to be able to... It's funny how low the car really is, you know. I, I would not have designed this out of my brain. <laughs> this is... Uh, their design, obviously, Bugatti, that's, this is their design, but I'm building it for my, my beautiful lady because she has given me the, the will and the want 
to make it for her. And soon, she's going to have it to drive. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm going to be all smiles that day. I'm going to be all smiles that day when I see you go up the road. So this is what we got going on. we got some round rod. You can see this side. I haven't got it cleaned up yet, but you can see the round rod that's welded in there. And I've welded on that piece of metal. Square tubing here. i still got to cut this back yet. Spot that on. Um, what I'm going to do here is I got a piece of square tubing down here that runs the front up from the firewall. I'm going to scissor truss that. Probably should explain that later. But I have some inner fenders over there that are made a long time ago. And I can see where I left off. I didn't, there were some wells I didn't finish and that sort of stuff. But it's funny to come back because you don't remember everything. But it's, it's going pretty good, actually. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to weld some studs on. What I've did, what I've done, six and a quarter inch bolts. And I've cut the ends off of them. I cut a few of them off just to get started. We thought we better make a video as we're going to do that. And I cut the end of them off, right? And I'm going to weld this stud. I'm going to weld this stud on here, on the inside, like this, on this stud, on this, on there, like that. Weld that stud. I'll put two on this one. I'll probably put one on every corner of these ones. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to cut a piece of this to the, to the size of the hole. And then I'm, hopefully I can get two holes lined up so I can... I can bolt that on from the inside. When that's bolted on from the inside and that's filled out, that will look. You'll be the judge. <laughs> How's that? So here's what I'm going to do. Actually, I've got to turn the welder on. If you have a project, and you want to finish it, you must, you must get that will and want to go out there and work on it. I've had a few people say that I have inspired them to go out and work on theirs, and I've had a couple of messages that said that they were, you know, I've inspired them to go out and work on theirs. Um, a guy with a diamond tree truck, or maybe two of them. But when you call me and tell me how, what I've done for you, you do the exact same for me, if you know what I'm saying. So thank you very much. I appreciate your thought and your kindness. I appreciate everybody's thought and kindness that are good thought and kindness. I can tell you right now, life in Nova Scotia, people are being taught right now at the present moment in the last year or so, two years, that how precious life is. Why do we fight among each other when life is so precious? Why do we fight when... Life is so precious. I don't know. Anyways, Jolene's precious to me. And that's what I want to do. I want to build her a car. That's what I want to do. I want to build her a car. Now you think about that. I'm, I'm, I'm five, five ten. I, I put my foot over the front fender and jumped underneath the hood. There's not many cars that you could... Follow my size can jump over the hood, you know, and get inside where the engine's at, you know. So it's kind of telling you the size of this thing and how low it is and how sleek it's going to be. It's going to be just absolutely, I think it's going to be a, geez, a hard on on wheels. <laughs> it's going to be something else. I don't know if that was a good expression or not, but. Now, what I'm thinking is here. What I'm thinking is when I weld these on, I really don't know if the holes are going to line up or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld one on. I'm going to weld one of these nuts on. Weld one of these nuts on. Did I put the vice? Baby, you want to hand me a pair of... She's not only the camera lady, my partner, my everything. She's also the tool passer. We're just going to hold that in there. And the reason I have to get these on, because I can't fill, I can't fill out the side panel and get that looking like, mud it out, make it feel smooth and soft and shiny the way we want it, until I get these on. 
and uh, I need them on to get it filled out to complete what I need to be done. Um, sometimes you can overwhelm yourself with what has to be done and what I suggest is grab something and let your mind go there. <laughs> you know, just get on to one thing and let your mind go there because if you try to f do everything uh, in your brain, I've done that and it don't work. I'm going to have to really... I think that I've tacked it on there. Well, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to tack it on just a little bit better. I never had my helmet. Down on that one. Take this nut off so I can see a little bit better. Ouch! It's funny that's hot, eh? Uh, I don't want to tack it on that side. Wow. All right, here we go. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. All right. What I'm going to do is now, and you can see on the outside of the panel, you can see that it's penetrated. So we know it's not going anywhere. I'm going to measure this one. Hopefully, the same as that one. Um, where I have it, um, where that hole is a, a nine and three eighths or whatever, nine and three eighths. Nine and three. Ooh, we're pretty good, baby. I must have loved you. Huh? Still do. Huh? All right, so as we got it there, we have to go a little bit longer to get the stud. You see the studs welded on there. We're going to weld another one on there, so we at least have to go past there. So we may as well make it a foot. A foot by... I'll say two and a half. I like two. Hmm. I just want a two inch. A foot. We say a foot. A foot by two inch. So that's what we're going to do. One foot by two inch. And this here, like, I mean, let's face it. I am doing this on the Bugatti, because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Well, you can do this on any car. <laughs> you can do it on any car you want to, you know. Any car you want to. Let's start right over here. Look at that. Nice little hole. Little frigged up there. We don't want that, do we? Turn that bad boy off. Joey said, that's enough of that. Didn't you, baby? Three-quarter inch this is. Is that I lost I lost it this time. Two roll that one. And I'm just following down the line, you know. Following the line. Let's see let's watch this work. No, the power it won't. The life in it, huh? It makes me think more of it or more about it when the engine sit right over there already ready to rock and roll, you know, how close it really is. From thought to Yeah, from 
I could see it if I was Hulk Hogan or something like that. That I'm not. That I'm not. That has to be cut thinner down that end, I see. Okay, that'll work there. that and the reason being is it goes up to a point there eh? So, if I was to get them all done today, that'd be not a bad day's work time. I cut or put, you know, I have to put one on every corner on this one, one on every corner of this one, on every corner of that one, and then get the grates put in, I'd jump back in, jump back out, jump back in to get them cut. You think that'd be a good day? We'll see. Oi, baby. We'll see. Now. Am I still getting bummered? Yeah, still a little bit. I gotta go more, a little more. Huh. Got a piece of t tape. Uh, that's all right, sweetheart. I'll jump out and get it. I'll get her this time. How's that? I'm just gonna cut right straight across the last one there. Boom. Nope, we got her. Thank you very much, though. One more time. So I'll be in net of that thing probably a dozen times, if not more. Went for it. I just cut it off and went for it. Hope that didn't hurt it any, but I went for it. It's always bigger to make it bigger than smaller. I'd rather jump in and out, have it fit, and then have to go over and cut a whole new piece, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Alrighty. Sharp stuff. Just like its owner. Sharp stuff. And we need another one over here. You know? That's how you get that stuff to fit good. See that? See how it's like that? See how it's bent? If I put it on that way, if I put it on like this, and then I bolt this side, if it's flat, it might not fit tight. But if I put a little curl in it, and then I bolt it on. Come over to the other side and see how tight it looks. How does that look? Huh? Nice. And let's face it, you, we have to wait for paint and all that stuff to really make that, you know, look, look nice. I mean, that's not going to look nice against, you know, metal that's going everywhere. But to me, that's very appealing. And, and to have it all the way down through is going to look very good. Don't you think, baby? Awesome. So, you know, you know my next plan in motion is I have to put another stud on to work. And uh, that's just what I'm going to do. Put another stud on to make it work. You able to flick that welder on there?
packed on there. I'm happy with that. What I'll have to do is now I'm just going to wait that to cool off, pull the nut off it, pull that piece off, weld it up a little nicer, you know, make sure that it's on there, stuck on like that one. That one's stuck on there nice. It's just tacked easy. So I'll do that. I'll get that one bolted on. Then I'll go for the exact same from this corner. I'll start one in the corner, two in the corner here, and then I'll do the exact same process. Go over there and cut it out. And then we'll try to keep, try to keep these running straight if we can. I see that I'd like to come up a little bit on that if I can. We'll see what happens. I might be able to just open that hole up where it bolts in, open that up a little bit. But that's what's going on. That's what we're doing. Uh, this was first set up for the four liter Jeep engine. Um, not that that's a bad thing, it's just that we're going in a different direction. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're going in a different direction. And that's what we're doing right there. It's always nice to get out and take a look. It's going to look nice when, when it, once it's painted and that stainless in behind there, I think that that's going to really set it off. Uh, and then we have three big pieces coming in here, two big pieces going in there, and that'll be great. The hood, I think we're going to put down, or I'm pretty sure we're going to put down with belt, probably belts of some sort, like we've seen on Jeff's Jaguar. Uh, we also, I, I keep... Every car that we build, we take something off it. If there's anything any good that, you know, is disregarded, that, that we're allowed to have, we keep. Uh, and, and I also keep the tires. And when we did the dump truck, uh, it, had some, it had some nice tires on it. So we kept them. Come to find out they're 17 inch. What's the guy named for the, has the D9 there? Was, he was... Jerry was saying that they had a had a 17 inch. I think he's quite knowledgeable. So, man, I'm telling you, the guys from the British Club, they know their stuff. But anyways, we're just building the car for, or I am just building the car for Jolene. But it has a 17 inch wheel on it. If we can get the rims, what I would like, what I'm hoping I can find, is uh, the spare wheel out of a car with a 17 inch rim to fit five bolt four and a half. And that's what I think I'll try to do is find some of those. And that's what these wheels are that are on it. They're, they're the spare wheel. We were going to get a tire to fit it. They're 16 inch. But if we have the brand new 17 inch, we can find the spare wheel for a 17 inch. That's what we put on it. We put the 17 inch on it. That would get it up off the ground a little bit and allow for our super soaker engine in there. Huh? Man, that, that's going to fill underneath the hood of that thing. And <laughs> if the sounding on the old engine block there has any any indication of how it's going to work. Wow. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a screaming little demon, that thing. Anyways, if you want to put something like that on your car, it's pretty, a pretty, you know, it can be a pretty simple process or it can be a difficult process, whatever you want to make it, but you can do it. I'll do it. Nothing to it. Is that right, baby? Have a good Wednesday, everybody. You know, life is short and life is short. Uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you make your decisions in life, that life is short and is it really worth it?